Hey friends, your girl Brittany here and welcome back to another Hump Day Handmade where we're going to make this roll-up travel makeup bag and make sure you check out the other ladies that are a part of this collab and see what fun things that they made for this month. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Here we do some fun project shares, tutorials, and other crafty inspiration. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need a piece that measures one by three and a half, and then you're going to need two pieces that measure three by two, and then we're going to need a larger piece that measures two by six. So with the two by six on the short side, you're going to measure at half and at one, and then on your two three by two pieces on the short side at half and at one, and then for your one by three and a half on the three and a half inch side, you're going to score it at half and at one and a half. Now we're going to work on the base. You need a piece that is 11 by 7. And on the long side, we're going to score at 5 and 6. Then you'll need another piece that measures 6 by 7. And on the short side, you're going to score it at half an inch and at one and a half. And from cutting those pieces, make sure you keep those little leftover straps too. Also, we're going to need two pieces for our short pockets. And on three sides, you're going to score at half an inch, one inch, and then one and a half. So on the two short ends and on the one long end. You're going to do that for both of those pieces. You're also going to need that on your four and a half by nine piece. You're going to also score it at half an inch, one inch, and one and a half on all three sides. I know you see a different color. I'm actually going to be using acetate, but of course you can't see that on film. So... That's why I'm going to go ahead and use the pink paper. Now we're going to fold on our score lines on our base pieces here. I'm just going to cut off the little notches on our 6x7 piece. And we're going to adhere it to that 11 by 7 But you want to make sure that that little flap is on the outside. So then that way when you mat it, it'll hold it together a lot better. Now we're going to work on applying our strap to the base before we mat anything, but I do suggest you mat your straps beforehand. The straps are one and a half by 11. Those are just your scraps from your original cutting. And make sure that you get all of your other matting pieces cut out as well so you don't have to worry about that later. So we are going to be matting on our straps. So you're going to take your strap and you're going to take it from the top portion and then bend it back and then you're going to do that same thing on the opposite end so you have your straps looking like this and where we adhere the straps you are going to adhere it on the one portion here where we adhered our two base pieces together and then of course on the back part of the little flap there so that is where your straps are going to go to so now i'm just matching it up with my other strap and i am going to bend it so that way they can be the same And then now I am just going to figure out where exactly I'm going to put it and I'm going to add my adhesive and apply it to the base of my cosmetic bag. And then before I add on the second one, I'm going to make sure I have it lined up so that way they can at least match as well as it can. After we get our straps adhered, we're going to work on our closure. Our closure piece is that one by three and a half that we had made. And then we I already have my matting piece that's going to go on it. So I'm going to fold on the score lines and go ahead and adhere that on there. That little half inch score that we did, that's going to go on the back portion where we have put together that 11 by 7 and 6 by 7 piece because that's going to be your back so that's where you're going to put that little half inch portion and then it's going to fold over and then it's going to go on that loose flat piece that you have so that's going to be your front so after you get your closure added on now you can go ahead and start matting all your pieces on the outside and on the inside because then we're going to start working on our pocket
Now, as a reminder, I am actually going to be using acetate for my pockets to give it that actual like makeup bag look with the clear pockets. But because of the video purpose, I'll be using the pink cardstock. And just like all my accordion pockets that I've made, we're going to cut out these nine little squares here. But see here, I'm cutting it at a deeper um, notch than usual because I don't want the pockets to obstruct each other when folding. So I want it to be more on the outside than going in if that makes sense but when we fold over our score lines we go inwards outwards then inwards again and just like any of my other times that I make these guys <laughs> and then you're gonna repeat that to your smaller pockets now that we have our makeup bag open we're gonna work on putting our longer pocket at the bottom so kind of put, figure out where you want to put it and then grab your large pocket flap which is that two by six and add that on there once you get that, you're going to add your smaller pockets to the middle panel and then get that on there and then add your you know, closure flaps, which were those three by two pieces. After you get your pockets done, that is it. The top panel, you can do whatever you wish to do with it. I myself am going to make a waterfall using clear bags so then that way I can add like die cuts or embellishments in there without having to create a whole like back topper or whatever for my waterfall. But you can go ahead and do whatever, you know, piques your interest, get it all decorated, looking all extra cute. And yeah, so this is how she all turned out. Make sure you guys check out the rest of the ladies in the collab down below in the description box. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos from me. And also give this video a like. Thanks so much, y'all. You know I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.